yo 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 what's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel we're over here in weapon fighting simulator i got the homie drake craft here in the house he's currently afk huge shout outs to him go ahead and check out his youtube channel it's literally his name so if you go to youtube search up drake craft now in today's video i'm going to be showcasing off a brand new spell and i'm also going to be claiming something from this special Father's Day event. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel right now if you guys are new, and hit me up in the comment section and let me know of your overall progress here in the game. Once again, this is called Weapon Fighting Simulator. A link will be found in my description box. So, this is uh, update 21 of the game. Now, this came in a two-part update. The first update is where they introduced uh, pets. So let's talk about the pet situation. So the first day it came out, you know, we were live streaming Anime Fighters first, you know, year anniversary of existence. You know what I mean? It's been around for that long and we were celebrating the game. We live streamed for seven and a half hours. At the last half hour of the stream, we ended up switching over to Weapon Fighters because the update literally just rolled out. And there was, you know, a bit of a situation here. So here is the um, area where you guys can actually get your Banshee themed pets. Now, these pets in particular, I got to be honest with you guys. Um, I don't know if it's actually worth it. I don't really see too much of a addition that it makes, but it just does look awesome because it is a simulator and simulators do require, you know, the existence of eggs and pets and weapons and stuff like that when it comes down to it. So naturally... Yes, the pet behind me does look awesome, but does it really do anything extra? It really doesn't. To me, I could be wrong. But anyway, they added pets here to the game, and the situation was this. You know, every time a brand new feature is added to the game, there is supposed to be bugs. So people were complaining about the bug fixes. I mean, well, the bug situation, so they had to go in here multiple times and adjust the bugs to do multiple bug fixes and everything like that. And they ended up taking care of the situation. But the main complaint that was coming from me was the fact that I was thinking this was going to be something similar to like everything else that we played. So in order for me to explain that, I have to show you guys. So you come over here to the egg merchant. You're going to use your silver token currency, which is this token currency right here at the bottom. You're going to use that to purchase pets just like this. You purchase these pets. Now, there's a situation. You're only purchasing the egg in order for you to successfully hatch the creature and equip it. You have to take it over here to the hatching house. You put it inside the hatching house and you're only able to do two at a time unless you own a game pass in which they just introduced a new game pass. Um, but anyway, you would place them in here just like this and then you would click on the word hatch. Now the word hatch will reveal how much Robux it costs to get it instantly. But if you're not using Robux, you're a free to play player. You have to wait the duration of the egg hatch itself. So for certain pets, it's going to require a certain amount of hours. So right now we have this legendary in here. And we also have this, um, I think this is the epic. So the legendary was about, I think, 12 hours. Or as a matter of fact, it was 18 hours for the legendary. And then 12 hours for like the epics and anything below that. Now, if you guys are putting in uh, mythical pets, I haven't yet put one in there, but I will um, basically let you guys know that it is going to take around 21 plus hours to wait to hatch the pets. So that was the situation. That was my main complaint. And the fact of the matter was we were hype. This is what brought us to the game at 530 in the morning. We were expecting pets right off the back and... We didn't even know that we had to legit wait a whole entire day just to even hatch one egg. So now taking a look at the pets here, this is what I've hatched so far. So we have this rapid tea, which is a mythical pet. It has unique skills, but it doesn't have any common skills. 
over here you got a bunch of buttons in which are just randomly weird because I don't know what they do. Unsummon is obviously unequipping your pet. Upgrade is upgrading your pet. And then you have upgrow, which is, you know, increasing your uh, pet's growth here. Then you have lock, which will create the ability to lock pets just in case you guys are like multi-deleting something. And then you have release, in which I don't know what release does. And I'm not... I'm not too fond of that button, so I'm not going to press it. But yeah, that's our first mythical right there. Next, we have Flamey over here, which is an epic. Then we have the legendary Flamey. And lastly, we have the rare um, Arolia. Arolia? I don't even know how you pronounce the name, but those are the pets that I've hatched so far. Ever since the update came out, it's been taking me that long to open up eggs. Now, these companions, they are equipped and they can help you attack enemies and everything like that. But if you unequip your swords and you were to click to attack an enemy, the pet itself does not attack. It's literally like, it's a, it's a package deal, basically. If your weapons are not attacking, the pet is not attacking. So that's why I find this kind of weird and unusual, you know, for them to add something into the game. And then it's kind of pointless. Um, anyway, so that is part one of update 21. Now, part two here is the new event that they just introduced here, and this is the Father's Day event. Now, just like the other previous events where we had the Easter event, um, we had the uh, Monster Soul event, we had Mother's Day event, we're going to basically be doing the same thing. Every day you're giving a certain amount for free to claim, and you guys have a bunch of rewards to claim as well. So those rewards can be keys for the chest. It can be silver token currency. It could be boosters in the game. It could be weapons. And it can also be spells. Now they added something new in here as well. This is um, the page refreshers for this egg merchant over here. So um, let me explain that real quickly as well. So let's say you go over here to the egg merchant, right? and you're not satisfied with the selections that they have here. You can either refresh for free every single day, and once you use that free refresh, you can use uh, your egg ticket refreshes as extra refreshes, basically. So what the refresh will do is basically, it'll swap out the eggs here and give you a different complete setup. So as you guys can see, the best thing that I have in here right now in this setup is the legendary everything else is common and uncommon and then we have some rare ones over here in blue so if we're chasing down legendaries and mythicals we're gonna have to keep refreshing basically until they actually appear now let's say you run out of your free refreshes and you run out of your egg tickets refresh the last resort will be to use robux and that's going to cost you guys 159 so i don't think that's worth purchasing now, let's continue on with the Father's Day event here. So as you guys can see, we have some rewards to actually claim. And this is the last amount that I'm going to be able to get freely for the day. Now, the rest that I'm going to have to actually tally up here in ties are going to come with the work that we have to do here in the game. And you can get these uh, particular ties at any area, basically, I'm recommending like your last two best areas. So for example, if you guys are at like Ancient Temple and Moon Valley, those are your two areas that you should be grinding to try to get yourself these Father Day ties. Right now, I'm at the new area, which is the uh, Doom Valley. So I'm gonna take you guys over there and show you guys um, what I got from the egg itself. So now let's go ahead to the event reward and let's claim this 80k in Kui. And also let's claim this five times the sword damage as well. Now this damage uh, boost, it's only, you know, 1.5 times the damage, but we got five of them for free, which is pretty OP. Over here um, in your items, you can see this is where all of your eggs are stored. So as you guys can see, um, we have an eternal pet in here the first of its kind that I have ever seen. Um, we purchased this instantly. This almost cost me 2,000 in silver token currency. 
And um, you can see the wait time actually right there. So that's 24 hours for the Eternal. We got 18 hours for the Mythical and 18 hours for the Legendary. 12 hours for the Epic. 12 hours for the Rare. And then 12 hours for the Uncommon and Common Pets in here as well. So you got your Egg Storage here. Your Spell Buffs if you have any Spell Buffs. And then you have your normal items here. So you got your scrolls in which you can use at the spell library area. You got your keys for the chest. And then you have your other tokens, um, your other um, spells here as well. And then I have a spar that I can use for my thunderbolt. Right now, there's also a sale going on for spirit stone. So this spell, um, this particular, you know... Um, <laughs> I was about to call it a spell. This particular sale, excuse me, is only going to last for the next 18 and a half hours. So normally you'll be getting a certain amount, as you guys can see. But since this is, you know, times three of the sale, you're going to be getting times three right here just for this small amount of Robux. All right, next we have the daily spin wheel. So um, just to show you guys, they added the um, egg refreshes over here as well. So you have a chance of landing on it, which is kind of stupid. You know what I mean? I don't like that feature, but they added it there. And now let's go ahead and teleport over to where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Well, we want to go to the Doom Valley so you guys can see what's going on in here. We have this egg, which costs one freaking trillion to hatch. Now that we have times three for this particular event, it makes sense to grind egg hatches because you can definitely get yourselves legendaries and the new mythicals. But, you know, in order for you guys to get those eternals, you got to spend an eternal time here hatching the egg. So there's two eternals in there. And as you guys can see, we already have the mythical and I currently have a bunch of them equipped as well because we got lucky. So let me show you guys the stats of the swords here. So look at this mythical, bro. The freaking furnace. Now, whenever I type this in the chat, it tags, and I don't understand the reason why Roblox would be tagging the word furnace. But then again, if you think about what a furnace is capable of, you can probably see why they are tagging it. Anyway, at a base level, this is coming out with 2.04 billion damage. Literally my second best pet, um, my second best weapon, excuse me, um, just behind the Thor Milanor hammers here. Then we have the legendaries of this egg, which is called the Harvesting Tool. We have these as a shiny. And here is the normal stats of the Harvesting Tool here. So 1.15 billion as a normal base, which is really, really good. You know what I mean? And then we have this one here at 2 billion at a base. So as a shiny, it goes up to 1.73 billion. And then we have... Whoa, we actually have enough to make. Oh, this is interesting. We actually have enough to make a shiny furnace. But do I want do I want to only have one or do I want to run around with a whole bunch equipped at the same exact time? Theoretically, you want to go with the you know, you want to go with the stats. The stronger the swords, the better. So let's go ahead and just do that. You know what I mean? So now we're going to go over to the shiny blacksmith, which is located at the bamboo forest. The shiny plus plus is at the uh, dragon desert. So we're going to go over here. And this is going to hurt, but we're going to go ahead and do this. So it requires four to make shiny. And it's going to cost 100k. And it's going to bring it all the way up and 1 billion of its stats. So from 2.04 billion to 3.06 billion. So that's pretty big. So now it's legit my best weapon. And we're gonna go ahead and make some more of these um, harvest uh, tools here. 
Now, I know I'm spending my Kui, but it's going to take a very, very long time for me to even get to 50. In order for me to actually get that, I would need multiple friends, and then I would need like a times five event for Kui. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and equip our best here. So now this is a shiny. And we equip our best. And now we have a wide variety of swords equipped. So take a look at the team now. Look at that. Harvesting tools. We got the Milanor hammers. And then we got these fiery furnaces. And then, of course, we have a mythical pet. <laughs> just to tie things up pretty nicely. All right, so now you guys are probably wondering what does the Fallen Swords actually look like when you display it? Well, let's go ahead and take out the final boss here in Doom Valley. Now, I recommend taking out this boss if you guys are Master Kui because you have, you have the HP, you know what I mean? You have the power, you have the increase the damage in your swords and in your spells. But if you're an expert rank, you need damaging boost because this guy has 6 trillion HP. And, you know, it just so happens that we got free damage boost right here. So let's go ahead and use one and let's take out this, uh, this bull here. And this is a beautiful display of, you know, just craftsmanship of creating pet bosses, you know, giving them certain abilities, not just giving them looks and everything like that. Because you look at this, it doesn't look menacing, but then when it attacks you, it freaking is menacing. So it hits you just like that. And then it does this little special ability move where it's sending off ghost versions of itself which is pretty insane. So look at this, these red lines. You don't want to get crossed, you know, in the middle. You can see the little bulls running around in yellow, <laughs> little ghost versions of them, of himself, basically. And when they hit, they hit hard. So him hitting me by itself, I'm, you know, taking minus 24 billion in damage. But with the uh, ghosts, they hit you all at the same exact time from every which direction. And... Basically, that's bad for you, you know? Um, so here are all of the spells and um, eternal spells here for the uh, for the master ranks. So we can get these right now. It's just the point is that we can't actually use them. Okay, so we got bubble time right there. Interesting. I didn't even have to use a... Um, I didn't have to use a boost to get a spell drop instantly. It just came out right then and there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the um, Master Kui spell that we just got. So this one is a rare. Bubble time, 111 billion. So once we become Master Kui, bro, we're going to have to say goodbye to a lot of stuff because most of these things that you guys are going to be seeing for Master Kui spells is going to be really, really OP. Shark attack heals yourself by 5% um, in HP, but it deals a damage of 360 billion and it cool downs in 20 seconds or less. So let's see, water god blessing increases your spell. This one is a common rainstorm 8.43 billion. We're definitely not going to have that equipped. Okay, and look at this one. Ice God Blessing increases your Banshee spell damage by 32%. We discovered this Cold Kui, which is a very common uh, spell, and it's trash. We're not going to equip that as well. Um, for Fire, we have the Fire God Blessing. This is a common passive instead of a normal spell. This one increases your weapon damage by 112%. Bro, that's OP. I can't wait to have that equipped. We're actually going to take care of that right now. Oh my god, it's going to take so much to freaking level up, bro. No way. I just lost like 2 million trying to level it up. That's insane. And then lastly, we have the Wind um, Mastery here. So we got Dust Devil. Energy Tornado, so these two are definitely not going to be equipped. Then we have the Wind God Blessing, increases your Banshee's attack damage by 
kind of reminds me of the last one we just read off, and then we have the Fan Smash. Now, Fan Smash, um, if we don't discover it, yo, look at this. Yo, that was so beautiful, bro. Now, as I was saying, Fan Smash, if we don't discover it from the map itself, we can actually get it in the Father's Day event over here. So that's going to come at, let's see, at 600. Nope, that's Palm Leaf Fan. When is that going to appear? Okay, so that's going to come at 1,000 Father's Day event ties. So just in case we don't discover it before that, we do have a secondary chance at getting it with the event. So that's why these events are so OP and worth grinding for. But like I said, you know, um, this is the update itself. You know, it came in two parts. We got the uh, pets as the first one, and the Banshee pets. And as you guys can see, my pet is here and it's attacking with my swords, but it doesn't look like it's doing much. You know what I mean? So um, I don't know how to feel about this particular update, but you guys let me know your thoughts and or opinions on this particular update. And if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the like button. Remember, you guys only have a week for this Father's Day event. It's not going to be like two weeks like the last event that we had, which was for the Monster Souls. We had that for two weeks, and I was unsuccessful in getting the, um, the Phoenix Bow, which was the weapon that I kept raving about. Man, I love that freaking... I love that freaking attack just now, bro. But yeah, as I was saying, I didn't get a chance to get the Phoenix Bow, but I can still probably hatch it during this event. It's just going to take a lot of, you know, AFK moments and no lifing in order for me to actually get one of these uh, eternal weapons. Or I might have to use Jade and try to buy one, but I know it's going to be way out of my price range. Unless, you know, I randomly get it for free, like I normally get things for free. But, you know, an Eternal is not going to be something that someone's going to let go just randomly. So it's probably going to be like in a favor or something like that if I end up getting one for free. Um, but just to show you guys, uh, if we trade, we do actually have 38 right now. So we're kind of working on, you know, getting that a little bit higher just in case we have to buy one. So let me go ahead and take this spin. This is my second to last spin. I'm still hoping that I can land on these stupid tridents because I want to see if it's actually really, really OP. But we're going to get some more Thor hammers, so that's good. And since we're on premium, we get two of those. So that's one way to end off the video right there. That's pretty awesome. Let's take a look at the stats now. Oh, and they're super stronger because we, we went up to Expert Kui 4. Yo, these things are strong, bro. 5.41 billion. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now we're back to having four hammers. We got two furnace, and we got one harvesting tool. And sadly, the mirror that we made shiny, um, it is no longer equipped. Its services are no longer required. And then, of course, we have the trifling swords here as well. Wow. That is awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. I was just talking about like I'm hoping to get the trident and we got we got the Thor hammer. So that's still that's still a W.